Marcel, sitting here in your spring bucket, did you were you starting to think it might not happen again? How does it feel to be back? Yeah, I think first of all, great opportunity to be, to be back. Uh, I mean, uh, catching up with old friends like Yevon and Peter Steff and new faces as well, man right next to me, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know, coming together as a squad and just learning a bit the new personalities, new players and yeah, look, it's it's always phenomenal when you see your name being read out and to be on the team sheet. And for me and my family, and it was a proud moment, you know, so you'll never take that for granted. Does it feel almost like the first time you were called up? Yeah, more or less, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it's been a while, you know. I think I played my last test in 2019, you know, and, uh, you know, in that period, you, you just realise what you have when you come back to the system, you know. It's, it's a great honour to represent your country in all fronts, you know. So, no, just being back in the system is phenomenal. Marcel, the uh, loose trio that you're in, um, uh, Peter Steff and... Uh, uh, <laughs> the, the, just the combination that you've got there, how, how excited are you to, to play in, in, in a blend like that of use and experience? No, well, take Peter Steff, you know, he's, he was World Player of the Year, you know, so he brings a massive form of experience to the yeah. to the loose trio, you know, Yevon had an exceptional season this season for the DHL Stormers, you know, so it's good for him to be rewarded um, with the form and as well, and yeah, I think uh, the biggest challenge now for us as a loose trio is just building that synergy and cohesion, you know, um, you know, it's men that you want next to you, and uh, yeah, you'll be looking forward to that opportunity you know, from this weekend. Well, coach is not using you as a knowledge, you, you probably got the no knowledge of the Wales team playing in um, uh, Pro 14 way back. You, you, got prop, as I say, you know all of them from, from the years you played there. The coach is using you for, for the inside knowledge? Um, I think it's um, very ownership driven, you know, if you feel like you want to add something to the mix, the, the environment is open for that, you know, so um, a lot of the player and teams this season had a taste of the URC, how the Wales side more or less played, but take the international side, it's completely different, you know, we see how competitive they were last weekend, you know, and they played with desperation, you know, and I think, look, it's open for everyone, you know, even the youngest guy to the most senior, you know, if you feel something you can contribute, that's an environment that was created, you know, so, you know, you just open to that. So, um, you come with your lot of erfaring, leaderskap, create you still in the snow that you weg for us on your land for the work of Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that is, uh, so as I said, it was a great for us work om nou weer in die, in die mix te wees hierdie naweek en so, en jy gaan het voel soos die ouwe wat sy David maak die naweek, jy weet, dit is, elke toets is uniek, en speciaal, jy weet, maak sak wees speel nie, wat nou die oplaks is, of alles die naweek, elke toets bring sy eie uniekheid, jy weet, en dit is vir jou as speler om self um, rekenskap te vat om goed voorbereid te wees, en jou emoties te draai, dat het nie oorweldig raak nie, en dat jy net een positieve invloed op die span bring. Ja. Ek heb al om toerig 19 laas, uh, op een stadium in India wezige weg van die nationale span, raak een mens mismoedig of hou, ben jy net positief om, om weer in dat vreemde groene groepes klok? Ja, ek denk as jy rugby speel in Zuid-Afrika, sal dit altyd jou droom is, jy weet, om deel van die Zuid-Af te wees, jy weet, dit is, uh, ek wat bevoorig is geseend was, wat al daar toe sal gaat het, weet waar het gaan en wat sy adrenaline speler kry op die veld, jy weet, as jy vat vir jou naweekse gepleid strijd, hoe die, hoe die skare, jy weet, eerstens om hulle terug toe ook te kon het, jy weet, hoe dit die beste uit die spelers gebring, waar tweede half te, die passie, die emotie wat die uitbring, jy weet, so ja, nee, net om jou vraag te antwoord, dan, dit is vanom nou om terug te wees, en jy wil net positieve invloed weg. Marcel, um, what would your advice be to Evan and the guys who are running on making their debuts, I mean, if you cast your mind back to when you made your debut quite some time ago, what would you, you tell them? Oh, just to enjoy every moment, to be honest, you know, look at, uh, I remember my first test, it flies like this, you know, so, um, no, just take that moment in, you know, don't make it too big in your head, you know, like I said earlier, play for play, uh, face for face, and just enjoy the moment, you know, and know what you did to bring you here, you know, every player's got that something special that made them get picked for this team, you know, never let that down, you know, concentrate on your strengths and just enjoy the moment. Well, Marcel, I mean, you, since you've been back here, you've... Um you, you fulfilled a bit of a mentorship role already at the Bulls there, helping a lot of younger players come through, etc. Um, Wales are obviously going to try and get under your skins like they did last week with the other team. Uh, and just, you know, they quite easily could, like last week, a bounce of a ball. Something might go wrong in those first couple of minutes. Your role is, and, and the other senior players' role in, in just keeping the guys calm and that. And let's maybe talk a bit about that. Yeah, th I think um, one thing we're fortunate is like um, we've got World Cup, uh, World Cup um, winning players in the team. You know, we've got Yemen Etzel with Andre Paul that brings heaps of experience. Peter stepped a toy alongside you in the flank. So, no, they'll bring that composure and where you can as well. You know, you'll, we'll see the game as it is and we'll control 
the, what we can control at the end of the day. But I think the biggest thing is just for collectively as a team, you know, not to go too much individually now. And now's the time to come together, you know, drive all that positive energy and what we want to achieve on the day in the same direction, you know. Yeah. I think the uh, last thing you want to do is, uh, you know, you want to do maybe over the top or something, you know. It's about what the team wants to object and what it wants to accomplish on the day, you know. And the leaders in the team, they know their roles and they'll steer that in the right direction. And just, and just after, on that as well, just knowing that, yeah, that, that there has been a plan for the last two weeks, preparing for these last couple of weeks, knowing that you guys are going to play, how much has that helped in terms of the, the self-belief for this group of players that obviously are going up on Saturday? Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, to get the opportunity from the coaches and the backing, you know, it's a, it's a great honour, you know. Um, we sort of knew what the plan was, you know, but we wanted to see how it went over the weekend, you know, and the coaches still backed the plan, you know, and that gives us as players confidence, you know, knowing we have their backing going to this game, you know. And, uh, yeah, we had a week last week, you know, where we could have prepped, you know, and built a bit of synergy, like he said, off the field, went out, you know, just learning each other, you know, what his trades is, you know, and it's a very important task going into this test this weekend, you know. It's about, like I just mentioned, driving all that positive and collective synergy into the right direction. Now. Guys, two 